Dr. Mark Sullivan tells me employees are excited. He also says the district is strong financially, so this is the right time to do it. Birmingham's American Federation of Teachers president, Richard Franklin, is happy to share the news to union members that they're getting a raise this fall. It's big and I think it needs to be celebrated. The union doesn't just represent teachers, but also janitors, cafeteria staff and bus drivers. Many, Franklin says, have recently left Birmingham City Schools. A lot of people left because they weren't doing it for money. You know, if you come in, you start with low pay, you're doing it out of love and you just want respect and and a lot of times they didn't feel they were getting it. For those who are still here, they're about to see their hourly wage change from $10 an hour to $15 an hour. Superintendent Dr. Mark Sullivan. This will equate to, for some people, an $8,000 raise over the course of the year. So that's life changing. So life changing, Sullivan says this may help with spending in our current economy. And many of them have to work a second job just to make ends meet. We know that inflation is high right now. We know that uh, the price of bread, the price of gasoline is high. And so we want to ensure that our employees are able to make a living wage. A living wage, Franklin says, they've been fighting for years. Seeing the school board finally approve it, he says is what union members need this school year. This is what happens when everybody works together. And I hope this is a model and encourage other districts because the classified workers in other districts are not making that much money. Now this pay increase starts on October 1st. Now based off of the $500 million the school board approved last night, teachers are expected to get an increase as well. Their pay raise will vary based on their experience and also certification. So everyone's pay raise will vary. Live in Birmingham, I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.